Hola mi gente, welcome to Kiss My Crass. My name's Maritza, in case you didn't know. I hope everybody's feeling good, doing great. Um, I'm excited because I have my first Aura Loa diamond paintings. I had never ordered from them before. Um, but I've seen a lot of the unboxings and I always liked what I saw. And I would look at the website, but I just never ordered from them. And um, I went, happened to look at the website and they have a lot of diamond paintings on a really decent sale. So I took advantage and bought a couple. Again, part of this need to shop and want these specific diamond paintings is the fault of Vivian, diamonds around you. <laughs> And if you heard me say that before, then you have an idea of what diamond paintings or who the artist is. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. I also have something else from them that they didn't have before. And I think I happened upon the website on the day that they put them in stock. Um, they are adding different crafts to their website. So they are selling puzzles. And I saw a post from them. The puzzles are not available to ship to the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. Um, but they also are um, adding cross stitch. Yes, thread people. <laughs> they have licensed stamped cross stitch kits. Currently, the three kits that they offered are sold out. Um, and I think I just happened upon the website on the day that they put them on because I had been looking at the website for several days in a row and they didn't have that there before. Um, so yeah, so I snatched one up and, um, I'll be showing to you after the diamond paintings. So let's see what we get now. I seen a lot of diamond paintings, but I don't see a lot of unboxings of Oraloa um, diamond paintings. And they send uh, they send you a little bag of goodies of stickers and I think cover reminders maybe. We'll look. Um, but um, oops, I'm a little sad because I always saw a flower, like a Hawaiian flower. So I don't see it in here, and I'm a little sad because I wanted a flower. <laughs> So let's look at what they sent me. We'll look at it real quick because I don't want this video to be long. I start getting chatty and I start talking and blah, blah, blah. But I can't get everything out. Okay, I see cards. I see stickers. I see cute little thingies. So we have the sticker with their, um, that's their little mascot, I guess, and their name. Um... Oh, this is cute. Look how cute. It's a little tray. <laughs> that is adorable. That's adorable. Okay, that made me smile. And then we get these little, like, you can turn these. They're not cover minders, but you can turn them into cover minders easily. And look how cute. We have a clam with a pearl. I love that. A little palm tree. A little crab and a beautiful little rainbow fish that's cute that's sweet and then we get some uh stickers let's see i don't know what this is for uh, oh i guess it's i don't know a thank you card oh you're not even seeing it and some other stickers and a card here i don't know yeah oh there's some more <laughs> Oh, wait, what's this? Is this a scratch off? This looks like a scratch off. Yeah, scratch me if you have this, you win a kid of your choice. If you have three tikis, you win, you win a kid of your choice. Oh, okay, we're gonna scratch that. And I got this cute dirt turtle. All these can be turned into cover minders. All right, let's look. I already took them out of the mailer box. I already um, took the shrink wrap off on, on one end to make this a lot quicker and not take forever. <laughs> so we're gonna put that big one on the side. This is the first one I got. We'll look at the box because this is my first Oraloa. So we have Daffodil Springs by Hannah Lynn. Uh, the measurements aren't on there, but you got a thumbnail. Isn't that beautiful? 
She's surrounded by daffodils and she's in front of a waterfall and there's hummingbirds and the colors are pretty and um, they're not the usual colors that Hanalyn uses, especially for wings. So I thought this was interesting and this was like 32 bucks, okay? And I thought that was great. <laughs> it was $32 from like 55 or something like that. So, okay, so let's look at the box. I'm going to look at, because this is my first Oraloa. So let's, let's do them some justice. So Oraloa is a company that is Hawaiian themed, yet they have a French accent. So, um, I meant to go on the website and look at, see if they had an about us and all that, where they're based. I believe they're based in Canada. Or are they in France? I'm not sure. <laughs> Way to go, Maritza. Okay, so um, they're imagined in Canada, designed in France, but they have a Hawaii, a Hawaiian theme. Um, so on the back of the box, you have their uh website information. You have more information about your um kit. So this is a 47 by 66 centimeter and it's a square because while I was shopping, the round sold out. I was kind of cart snatched. <laughs> they have their Facebook information and their licensing information um, and everything is included. It's And the box has um, English and, Fran and French and Spanish. Okay. Um, so let's get it open. It comes in a sleeve. Everything's inside the sleeve. It looks like a soft back. Yep, it's that soft back. So we get some paperwork. Oh, our drills are bad, are pre bad. Let's let, let it get flat for a little bit. And let's look at the, okay, we got our toolkit. We'll look at the paperwork in a second. All right, so we have everything that we need, okay? Um, there's tweezers, and they're the sharp ones, yeah. And then we have a glittery pen with a, looks like a three blazer, right? We have the white bolt with the funnel. And we have some blue wax and a caddy. Um, a large multi-placer. Uh, this looks like it might be a 10, it might be a 12, I'm not sure. And I might try it and move up. <laughs> Because right now I've been using seven placers and that's been my go-to for a very long time now. Um, so you get the squishy as well. So everything you need. And since your um, drills are already bagged up, you don't need extra baggies. Let's see. All right. The colors are pretty. They look good. Somebody, who was I watching? Oh my goodness, who was I watching? They were working on an Oraloa and they were really, really um, liking the squares. Oh, Kimba. She was showing how nice the squares laid, how they laid next to each other. There were no gaps and it was looking really, really nice. So I was excited. Because if the squares are good, I'm, I don't struggle with it as much. Um, we get stickers and another thumbnail sticker for your logbook if you have one if you do that and some extra fun stickers looks like you got to cut them out yeah they're not perforated but the um the labels are so this one has 49 colors and it has a few ab's let's see one two three four five ab's which you see there. My phone ran out of space, mi gente. So as I was saying, um, yeah, so we get five ABs. 
it doesn't want to focus. There we go. And there's the other two. So all together, 49 colors. We also get... Oh, these are instructions, okay, in different languages. It's in French and English. Yeah, okay. So the, the edges are poked and scored, or not scored, um, scalloped. <laughs> this oh she is pretty look at her <gasps> she's pretty this is a nice canvas it's 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 thick so it's not like very pliable and you don't have control of it um the canvas the drill field is very very clear It's pretty. It's pretty. I love it. There's a lot of color blocking in this. The flowers have some confetti. Um, a lot of line blocking in the background. I love the hummingbirds. Look how cute they are. This is very nice. I really like it. You do have two legends. One on the top left. It's smaller than I'm used to. One on the bottom right. But I can still see it. It's not, you know, it's very clear. It's just smaller than I'm used to. But this is really nice. I like this kit. You have a thumbnail up here. And then you have their name up on the top. The bottom has the artist's name, the size. They have their little logo over here on the side with their social media information. It's a nice, it's nice. I really like it. I really, really like it. I'm glad I ordered it. It's beautiful. She is adorable. Let's look at some of the drills. I'm not going to show them all because... I'll show you the ABs. Let's find the ABs. They're at the end. So this is, they're in number order. I can find the theme. We got some crinkling going on. Ooh, some pretty colors. Let's see. We have a red. We have an orange, yellow. I'm sure this is all gonna go in the flowers. This is probably gonna go in the background. We have a little bit of white. Let's see. Um, I need I need more magnification for my eyes. <laughs> I can't see shit. Um, okay. So, wait, let me see. Where's <laughs> hot mess video? Um, so you have the yellow AB is they're in the flowers. You have two of the ABs in the flowers. Wait, which ones? The orange and the yellow. We have the orange and the yellow in the flowers, all over the flowers. Both of those symbols are in there. And then, where does that red one go? What is the, okay, the red one goes in her bottom. <laughs> I couldn't find, I couldn't find the word. Um, and in her wings. So they're in the wings. Uh, she doesn't get any in her lips. Okay, so that's where the red one goes. Does it get the hummingbird get any? Let's see. Well, it doesn't get any of the red. Let's see. Does it get any of the blue? Yeah, the hummingbird gets some of the blue. Both of them get the blue. 
Um, wait, am I right? Yeah, yeah, I'm right. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. I'm looking at the wrong symbol. What am I looking at? Yeah, I was looking at the wrong symbol, mi gente. Let's see. Do the hummingbirds got that symbol? No. Oh, no. I need to put something in the hummingbirds. I don't see it in the hummingbirds. No. I see it in... Let's see. Is it in the background? It's in the background. I see... Wherever you see that lighter blue, you see the... It's like the antenna type symbol. I don't know what that is. Um, But that's in the background. Um... Uh, Mm, I don't see it anywhere else. Oh, there's some scattered in the in in down here, but that's part of the background. Does she get any in her top? I don't see any in the top. So the blue one goes all all in the background. Where does the white one go? The white one. Mm, also in the background. There's not a lot of them, so it's just going to sparkle a little bit extra with the white. Because the whites are pretty. I love white ABs in, in, a, in a diamond painting. But that's pretty, mi gente. I like it. The drills look really, really nice. Let's see if I could get this to focus up close. They look nice. Let me get a plain color. Because it's hard to see with the sparkle of the AB. Where's the rest of the ABs? I lost the ABs. <laughs> oh, there they go. <laughs> let's look. Um, I want a light color. Oh, let's look. There's a lot of black. Let's look at the black. Let me get my tray. I want to see how they line up. I want to see how they line up. Whoa. The Hannah Lynn's always have a lot of black because she she outlines her girls in a lot of the black. So I don't mind that. I don't mind the 310. They line up really, really nice. Let's see if I can get this glare out. Okay. They line up very nice. They're very uniform in size. I don't see trash. Wow, look at that. And they're very sparkly. I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. Let me put these away. And I'm going to put this stuff away and I'll be right back, mi gente. Okay, mi gente, I got it all laid out and ready to show you. So which one did I get? It's called Fisherman's Catch. It's also by Hannah Lynn. This one's big. <laughs> it's a 91 by 73 centimeter. Ooh, wee. And this one, how many, this one has 60 colors and it has one, two, three, four, five ABs. You can see right there you have your sticker sheet and um, a picture for your log book or for whatever you want to use it you don't need it for the box because the box has two just like the other one um, and so I you know it's big and it's a box <laughs> it's just like the first one only longer um, but look at that look at that mi gente I love it I love the colors there's a man in the picture <laughs> I never drilled a man before. <laughs> I'm not going to call what I do to Jose drilling, but. <laughs> Hi, baby cakes. Love you. Um, 
but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for this one. It's so pretty. This one was also on sale. I don't remember the price. And I don't know if either one of them is in stock anymore. But if they are, I will link, in, link them down below. Um, do they have a restock of email alert? I think they do. Yeah, they do. They do. You can also, if they're sold out and you really want it, just, you know, give them your email so you can get a restock um, a, a notification. So look at all, <laughs> look at all that black me and say, wow, 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 wow. That's a lot of black. That's not just for outline, I don't think. I think there's some parts that are black. Um, And the ABs are somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Look at the ABs. We got some pretty colors in there. Okay, we'll look at them in a second. Um, we also get the same toolkit. I'm not going to open them, go through it, and the same instruction sheet. Okay, y'all ready? It's so pretty. But it's big. I'm going to have to, like, show it in parts. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at her. Look at her eyes. I love the handling eyes and hair. They always, always look really beautiful. Now let's look at this picture. It has the same two uh, colorless on, uh, you know, on one on each side. This one's bigger. I guess it's because the painting is bigger. But yeah, this one looks bigger. And this is very confetti heavy. Look at that. Oh, I didn't check the glue on the other one. I'll check the glue on this one. Her hair, sorry for the glare, but her hair is so full of confetti. Look at that. Lots of different color changes in there. But this is beautiful. Um, it's called Fisherman's Catch, so I guess he threw the net out and he caught her, but he needs to let her go, <laughs> Get, take her out of the net. It almost looks like she's got her hands tied behind her back. <laughs> they got a little bondage going on there. <laughs> I love it. Something about him, and I guess it's his hair. It, he reminds me of George Michael. He's got a little bit of stubble on the cheek and the chin. I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. You can see a good portion of it in here. Let's look at the ABs. Where's the scene? All right. Wow. Look at this big bag of ABs. These are going in the moon. The moon is practically, it's like all this. All this is, is, is full of the, a, the white AB. And she gets some in her skin. So she, she's, she's glittery. Um... And there's some in those spots in the background, those like the stars, but those are gonna those are gonna be quad cubes. I love the quad cubes, <laughs> but look at that. That's a big bag. Then we get this pretty light blue. Let's see where does that go. This is what. Number 59 is a wiggly line. Um, hmm. Oh, wait, is that it? I need, I need my other, I need more magnification. <laughs> um, yeah, it goes in her tail. Um, I got some here that looks like it's some jewelry on her top, like a pearl. Um, yeah, wherever you see like this kind of blue, this little scattered here and there in her hair, that's where that goes. Then we have a darker blue. 
That's pretty. And that one is, oh, what am I doing? Okay, where I showed you the light blue goes, that's where this one goes. <laughs> where does this light blue one go? What symbol is that? It's like the letter I. Okay, so you have that in her, in her fin as well. Um, I don't see them anywhere else. They might be. Do I see them with her hair? No. Just in her tail, it seems. Okay. And then we have a little bit of green. That's pretty. And that's probably going to go in this area here. Let's see. Yep. It goes along where you see that light green. It goes there. Um, there's a couple in her eyes, too. And she gets the white in her eyes as well. Oh, and then we have this really pretty one. It's pretty, pretty purple. And that one is... It's the pound sign. Oh, nowadays called the hashtag. <laughs> I knew it as the pound sign. So let's look where this purple... Okay, so wherever you see, do you see my finger? That like pinkish purple, wait, you're not seeing it. <laughs> that pinkish purple, that's where it goes and it's all throughout her hair. Yeah, Um, is it? Wait, let me double chop. It's hard to maneuver this one, <laughs> it's so big. That's what she said. <laughs> Um, what was the symbol again? Yeah, the hashtag. I don't... Yeah, there's some scattered in her hair, especially on the top of her head. But they're scattered throughout her hair. And I think that's about it. This is beautiful. Let's check the, the glue. It's pretty sticky. The cover is thick, so you definitely need a cover minder because the thick cover mind the thick covers do not stay back, but they are better to to deal with. Um, oh my goodness, she's so pretty. There, there, I love this. I love this. How, what do you think, Mihenta? Do you like it? Do you love it? Are you on the website looking for it? Um <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna put this away and I'm going to move to my recliner so I can show you the cross stitch kit. But before that, let's look at some of the, at, at the bag of drills. The, this one's around. I failed to mention it, but look how pretty they look. Let's get that glare out. Very nice. Very nice. I am happy. I'm very, very happy. Um, I'm not going to go to the website to see what else because <laughs> I had to have a little bit of a wish list and I think I got a couple of things in my cart, but, um, yeah, I'm not, they have some really nice handlings. There's one, but it's sold out. Maui Mermaid. Oh my God. That will be one that I would have to have in my stash eventually. It is gorgeous. Anyway. I'll be right back, Mihente. I'll be at my recliner. Okay, Mihente. I'm nice and comfortable in my recliner with my Golden Girls blanket. Did I tell you where I got this blanket from? This was a gift. This was a gift from my girl Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. And it has all the girls on it. You're seeing it upside down. <laughs> And it says stay golden. All the ladies on there. It's beautiful. It's comfortable. It's the perfect size for a recliner because it doesn't hang on the sides to the floor. I don't like my blankets touching the floor. Everything on my bed has to be sterile. <laughs> I'm weird like that. 
I'm not a fan of people sitting on my bed, but we're not here to talk about my bed. We're here to talk about a new product that Oraloa has. It's just Oraloa is new to me. They're not new to the diamond painting community, but they're new to me um, as far as uh, purchasing from them. And so you just saw the diamond paintings and I'm excited. Wait, I got to move this where my camera is a little back because it's hidden in my chair. And if I move, it moves the camera. Okay, so, okay, it's not moving the camera, okay. <laughs> so, I had been looking at the Oraloa website for a few days um, before I actually made my purchase. And on the day I made my purchase was the first time I noticed or saw that they had another, a new category. I think it's called hot new crafts or new crafts it's it's it indicates that there's new crafts different crafts outside of diamond painting on the website so i clicked on it and it had cross stitch and i got excited cross stitch and puzzles at the time puzzles were not in stock yet but i saw an instagram post yesterday that they did they have branded puzzles okay their names on the box and their licensed images um, but unfortunately they're not able to send them to us, Canada, and Mexico. So I was sad about that cause I would have, I would have gotten one. Um, so maybe eventually they'll be able to send to us because I think they're strictly in France, the, the puzzles or they're shipping from France. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, but they don't send to the us, Canada, Mexico. But they'll send, I think, to everywhere else. However, the cross-stitch kits that they had were for sale and available to be sent to me. Um, so, to the U.S., I mean. And so, I they had three different options. And I picked the one that I liked the best. Put it in the cart. Had my two handers in the cart. Looked at the website all over again. Make sure this is what I wanted. <laughs> I was eligible for free shipping and there was a 15% off code. So I took advantage and um, it took a minute to get to me. I think they come from China, um, but it wasn't a horrible wait. It, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Um, I can't tell you the dates. I don't remember. I didn't write it down, um, but it wasn't a very long wait, it, you know, so... Um, so let's go on and look at this cross stitch. So the cross stitch are stamped and they're 11 count. And I'm hoping that they bring in 14 count hint, hint, or a low. If you're watching this, <laughs> please bring in some 14 count and 18 count. They are, I have seen stamped 18 count kits. Um, and some Hannah Lynn's would be freaking awesome. Oh my God. Can you imagine? Cause there is cross stitch patterns that you can buy to do Hannah Lynn's, but I've never seen a licensed cross stitch kit that's stamped. I would love to see that. Anyway, mi gente, let's go on and let's look at this cross stitch kit. So I'm going to show you to you from the back because you might be familiar with this type of packaging. Okay. So this might be a kind of packaging that companies can opt to use for their kits and not strictly belonging to one company, but this has all the information you need on how to cross stitch your kit. Um, this is the instructions. There's pictures. Um, they also at the bottom have the different stitches that you may come across in your kit that you might have to do for your, um, image. Um, it also gives you how to wash and maintain the the uh, the fabric, and of course, written instructions. Um, some notes here, like about keeping your your um, hands clean. They say no outside frame. The the um, fabric is probably stiff enough where you can stitch in hand if that's comfortable for you. Eleven count uses. Oh, wait a second. No, the 11 count uses two strands for backstitch and 14 count uses one strand for backstitch. I thought it was saying use two two strands for the 11 count. Um, 11 count, you have to use three strands. And I tried three strands once. And I wasn't a fan of it, but I'll try it again because I wanted to see this kit and I wanted one. <laughs> 
Um, it gives you instructions on how to um, cross stitch on printed cloth and on um, unprinted cloth. So that's cool. All right. So you ready to see which one I got? Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? This is Potion Magique by Laura Philippon. I think I'm saying it right. And it's a branded kit. It's also licensed. It's stamped. Um, the packaging has English and French on it. I'm not going to try to say the French. <laughs> it says here, made in China, but designed in Canada. It not that pretty? This is very, very pretty. So let's look inside and see what we got. This, this packaging you can keep as your um, project bag. Actually, it's, it's, it's very sturdy. So we have our picture. Here is our chart. And um, on the chart, it's one of those glossy, thick, like, photo type papers. And you have your legend on here. You have your thumbnail information about the um, image as far as the artist and the name. This is 174 by 174 stitches. Um, it's very, very, these are very, very clear. And you can use them as reference, but since it's stamped, you may or may not need this okay and it's printed on both sides so here we have the top which is on this is the one page this is the second page which is the second half of the top and on the back you have the bottom parts there is color blocking it's not heavy confetti it's going to be fun. Let's see the other side. Nah, it looks good. It looks, it doesn't look hard. Like this is the most confetti you get, but there's it's lines. So there's not a lot of like one little stitch here, one little stitch there. And as far as back stitching, only, only there. That's the only back stitching I see. And let's see, where else? Anywhere else? Nope, just in her face. Cool. Very cool. So the legend, it this has 64 colors. That's a lot of colors. Um, and then you have your little back stitch legend there, which is two different ones. Oh no, it's only one. It's only one. DMC number 413. Alrighty. Here we have our threads and they come already separated for you. That's pretty. Look at these colors. Oh my goodness. This is going to be fun. The floss feels very, very nice. You have two two needles very nice and this has three cards they're stapled together so you can separate them if you want this is they're pretty very pretty look at these blues They have a nice sheen. They feel soft. Here's some more colors. Very pretty. This is big. <laughs> For the stamp cross stitch that I've had, this is big. Okay, which way are we looking at her? can't tell 
Okay, it's got to be this way, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, let me get the picture. Yeah, here's that big flower. Here's her face. Yeah, this is it. All right, so on a stamp cross stitch, this ink and the colors that you see will not match the actual image. And they do that so that you can see the differences in similar colors. So that's genius. However, don't get this wet because this ink will smudge, rub off, come off if you get it wet, if you get it damp. Um, and hence why they give you a paper chart just in case. Um, the paper chart is good to save if you want to do it on a different count and you want to do it counted. Go, go for it. I would do that. I, w I wouldn't mind doing that. But I want to do this in the stamped version because this is no counting, mindless cross stitching. I mean, you do have to pay attention to where you're putting your stitches, but you don't have to count. It's hard to make a mistake. The only way you make a mistake is if you're watching TV and you're not paying attention. <laughs> but let's look at this field here. This uh, what you have to work with. It is super, super clear. I don't see colors or symbols overlapping into other symbols. This is really, really nice. Do you have the legend on the side? And the legend is very clear too. Your edges are um, surged, which is a nice plus. I mean, these, these stamp cross stitches kits were not cheap. They're not cheap. They're not like the budget friendly cheap. <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're pricey, but I think they're worth it because this seems very good quality. I love how it's printed. It's so clear. It's not intimidating to me, even though you see all those different colors. It's so clear. I could see it at this distance. The legend goes all the way from all the way around. Here you got it starts down here, it goes up on along the side, and then over here you have your legend for the back stitching. And I moved the camera, I'm so sorry. It's got the um numbers on the top, it's got the numbers on the side. So if you want to work 10 by 10 squares, you can do that. You can work by color all the way across, cross country. It's, Cross country is when you take one color and you work the whole thing all everywhere that color is and then you move to the next color and some people do it that way and it looks fabulous but I I can't but but with a stamp cross stitch I would I, I would dare do that I would dare do that but I like to see the image coming uh, coming to life this way I go left to right and down that's how I like to do it but this is so, so cool. So let's see if this legend matches because sometimes they, sometimes the chart on the paper, the paper chart symbols do not, are not the same as the symbols on the fabric. Sometimes they use on the um, fabric, they use full block colors. This one has symbols. So I'm going to see if they are the same and they are not. Okay, and I'm going to show you what I mean. The numbers will match. Okay, so you have DMC 155 is number one. And it's also number one, DMC 155. However, the symbol on the paper chart does not match the symbol on the stamped um, fabric. But that's okay because you could still follow along with the paper chart should you need because you have your DMC numbers. This is fabulous. I really love it. I love my diamond painting kits. I loved everything. <laughs> I really do. I'm very happy with this company and I will shop with them again. So mi gente, I will link them down below. These are not in stock, but 
someone asked if they were going to bring more and they were going to bring other images and they said definitely so look out for that if you're into the cross stitch if you're a thread person um <laughs> And their diamond paintings are fabulous. I really, really liked what I got. I really liked the quality. Um, and like I said, I was watching Kimba. Her, she did a whip and chat. And she was doing a square in the Oraloa kit. And it looked beautiful. It looked beautiful. They, they lined up so nicely. There were no gaps in her diamond painting. Um, so yeah, check them out if you've never have. Um, because they do have some decent sales. Um, it's not like a five dollars off your kit. It's like 20 and 30 dollars off your kit. So mi gente, thank you for joining me and spending some time. I hope you liked what you saw. Sorry for the length of this video, but I had a lot to show and a lot to say. Um, and thank you Aroloa for putting out such a fabulous product. I'm so happy that I've finally made that purchase, you know, took the plunge and did it. <laughs> and you will be seeing me again. And mi gente, you know what to do. Until my next video, take care of yourselves. Be safe and besos. Mwah.